Kim Kardashian made the surprising revelation that she was asked to follow in the footsteps of her famous stepdad Caitlyn Jenner, formerly named Bruce, and join the cast of Emma Celebrity. Get me out of here. She admitted in a brand new interview that there was interest in her because she was the child of someone in the entertainment business, and that she very nearly ended up in the Australian jungle. Talking in a brand new interview, when she guested on former actress Gwyneth Paltrow's podcast, she admitted the early route to fame through Emma Celeb didn't work out. At the time, Caitlin, a former Olympic athlete and motivational speaker, had already been a guest on the show. She appeared on the USA version in 2003 when she went by Bruce, and reappeared for a second series 16 years later, after coming out as a trans woman and adopting the new name Caitlin. However, getting pelted with creepy crawlies turned out not to be part of Kim's destined career path, and she started focusing on fashion instead. Although Kim didn't elaborate on the reason that she hadn't been signed up in the end, she did discuss other elements of her life before finding fame, some of which are very intriguing. As a teenager, she'd been gifted a car by her lawyer father Robert, who was best known for representing former NFL star O.J. Simpson in his high-profile murder trial. I had to sign a contract with my dad. And if I crashed it, I was responsible, she admitted. Unfortunately, she did hit someone while still in her teens, and her father insisted that she got a job to pay for the damages. Had previously asked her not to go to university, although she'd earned a place, fearing that she would fall in love, get married and never come back to Los Angeles. The car accident meant that disgraced Kim had to end a stint of informally working in her father's office and making the tea to bring in some money. I got a job in a clothing store in the valley called Body, she recalled. It sold D&G, Frankie B jeans, Diesel and all these fun brands. I really loved fashion. Meanwhile, her father warned her off following in his footsteps and training to be a lawyer, warning her that he thought she'd find it too stressful. He just thought it was a really intense job, and, I didn't love school that much, she explained. It wasn't until much more recently that Kim announced she'd passed the baby bar exam in December 2021 as the first part in her journey to becoming a qualified lawyer. She also beat former U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton in a legal knowledge contest while filming the latter's show, Gutsy. She started studying two decades after she had originally discussed the prospect with her father, who sadly died of esophageal cancer when she was just 23. Kim admitted she still misses him dearly, explaining of her early years, no matter what my job was at his office, even, making his coffee, that was just what I loved to do. I loved waking up and having a purpose. Just months before her father's death, Kim had shot a video with her boyfriend Ray J, which was later released as a sex tape, much to her distress, but she then became a reality star and businesswoman, ending up with a net worth of one dollar. Eight billion. Kim Kardashian's full conversation with Gwyneth Paltrow is available via the latest episode of the latter's Goop podcast, titled, Gwyneth Paltrow x Kim Kardashian, on routines, family, and marriages. <laughs>